Hey there, my meaty friends. Today I'm making pizza rolls. I've made plenty of pizzas on the channel, but the pizza rolls are a first. For this one, I'm going to be sticking to my tried and true carnivore pizza crust number three, which involves some pretty lean chicken. I usually use ground chicken, but I found this chicken breast for $1.49 a pound, and I thought I'd be an idiot for not getting this. So I got it. And guess what? I feel like an idiot anyways, because I had to buy eight pounds of it to get that price. Hey, my second book's out right now. You should go check it out. It kind of looks like this right here. Have it on paperback and Kindle. You can get it for free if you join my Patreon. You know, you don't have to join. But if you want the book, it's available for you. It doesn't matter how you cook this chicken, just make sure that it's cooked all the way and slightly cooled. While that's cooling, head over to a blender or food processor and add in one ounce of ground pork rinds, four ounces of low moisture mozzarella, one egg, and all of your chicken. I definitely didn't let my chicken cool enough because my dough got pretty stiff like your dad at a Hootie and the Blowfish concert. Grab yourself a parchment or silicone baking mat lined sheet tray and begin the arduous process of figuring out how to do this effectively. I'll rush past my frustrations of trying to figure out the best way to do this and get straight to the point. Flatten your dough and make some rectangles. These are about two by four inches each. Break up a little bit of mozzarella, maybe a quarter of an ounce, as well as one to two pepperoni slices. Roll this up because this is a pizza roll after all, not a damn uh, pizza fold. Press it down on each end and hope they don't explode. But now that I'm writing this, I think that it exploding would make them more legitimate pizza rolls. Anyways, throw them into an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 14 minutes or until they're golden brown. You can microwave these, I suppose, if you're an animal, but please don't. They kind of exploded and look somewhat legitimate. I'll let them cool off for about five minutes before going in for the taste. Okay, it's been five minutes and let's get some sexy shots for the thumbnail. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And for the bite... Oh, f that's hot. My only complaint is the dough is a bit too soft, but delicious otherwise. 